Hey guys, it's Wisteria and welcome to my brand new series, which is a let's play of the original GameCube version of Animal Crossing. So first off, a few things. Let's say a huge, huge thank you to my friend Brian or Radio Kid here on YouTube for helping me get this little game capture card thingy all set up because it was a pain in the butt. But thank you so much. His channel will be in the description if you want to check it out. Another is this series will not have the original sounds because Nintendo is very- Oh, I see Bob! Hi! <laughs> Anyways, Nintendo is very scary with its copyright stuff. So also I wouldn't be expecting too much Nintendo stuff until I join a good network. Because once I'm in a network it'd be fine, but right now I'm not. So I don't want to risk anything too much. Hopefully I can continue with the series and Nintendo won't strike me down. I don't know. We're just gonna see how it goes. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So here we go. It's KK Slider. There he is. So, you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world? That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But living by yourself can be a real drag too. Still, if you've got some really tight friends somewhere nearby, then you know it'll all work out. That's basically a reference saying, hey, you can get your friends to move into this town. So yeah, there's like four houses you can get standard to Animal Crossing games, you know. Yeah, man, friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling, my bad. So, are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Uh, I'm ready, okay, let's go. Oh, I almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here too. He is very persistent on us bringing some friends here. I doubt we will, I'll probably just make four different characters eventually. <laughs> yeah, it would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Back in the olden days of this game, you used to have to just put your friend's memory card in your GameCube and then you could visit it. There was no like wireless, obviously. Later. But yeah, so nostalgic. I love this game. And it's Rover. There he is. He's gonna come sit with us. Just like a new leaf. He always kind of creeped me out at this part. Like, he's a little spooky. Hmm, uh, excuse me. Do you have a second? Could you help me out? Is it... Let's see now. 4.53pm on Thursday, September 1st, 2016. Actually, yes, he got that exactly right. But, we're going to say it's wrong because I'm going to upload these, or I'm going to play on the day that I'm going to upload these. Maybe, sometimes it might be a little lenient, so I think I am going to upload this, oops, on September 5th. That would be good. I still haven't quite figured out how I want to do the days and stuff, but we'll figure it out eventually. Now let me get this straight, you say it's 4.53 p.m. On September 5th, 2016. Well, now it's 4.54, but who cares? You're sure? Perfect, even though it's not, but it's close enough. Say thanks. You're too kind. Really, you're a big help. Mya ha 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 ha. I don't know how to pronounce that. So you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble onto you, and start drooling on your shirt. Oh, I should probably look up a face guide real quick. Hold on. I don't want to be ugly. I made that mistake on New Leaf and... Like, I didn't use a guide, and I've regretted it ever since. Okay, I found the face that I want to use. It's the one on the side. Like, I already knew which face, but I figured out how to get it. Um, please? Thanks again. It sure is nice meeting friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? Oh, what should my name be? Is Wisteria gonna fit? Let's see. Oh, that's not how you spell my name. <laughs> Oh no, we can't have the double eyes. That's okay, we can just have it like that. Hmm, well, hmm, Wisteria. Now that is an odd name. I think it would be an odd name, but it's, it's a gamer tag. It's okay. Not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like the name Wisteria? Isn't it cute? Because I want to be a girl. You're right, of course. What was I thinking? I think it's a very cute name for a very cute girl. Oh, thank you, Rover. I, uh, I'm sorry I said it sounded funny. Honestly, I forgive you. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? 
Ooh, what should I name my town? I haven't thought about this. Ooh. Okay, I usually name my towns Sugar Bell, but I don't think it fits. Like my town in Tamagotchi or Tamadachi? Tamadachi life is Sugar Bell. But see, it doesn't fit. Oh, now I'm. Now I don't know what to name my town. Windhelm is the name of my new leaf town, but I don't know if I want to go with something. Elder Scrolls related. Hmm. Oh, I wish I could have you guys comment what my town should be named, but it's kind of too late for that. Um, we're just gonna name the town Bunny, cause I don't know. I don't know what I want to name it. We'll just live in the town of Bunny. I think that's pretty fitting for my channel, and I'm not very original. So yeah, I think Bunny. You're going to Bunny? That's right. Hey, I know that place. Bunny is one of my favorite vacation spots. So, what are you going to Bunny for? Okay, we gotta say I'm moving. Hmm, moving, huh? I hate moving. Pack boxes, unpack box, it never ends. Say, where's your new place? Don't know yet. What? You don't know yet? Are you out of your tree? Well, we obviously need to find you a place to live. Oh wait, boy am I dense. This buddy of mine, my thing's going off. Hey. No iPad, don't ring. <laughs> this buddy of mine runs the shop in Bunny. Buddy of mine and Bunny. Okay, that's a little hard to say. <laughs> Let me give him a jingle. This will take me two seconds. Wait right here, okay? And there he go. And it doesn't take him two seconds. It takes him forever. I love Joan just kind of sitting there. Beep, beep, boop, beep. Hey there, Nook. It's me. So, what's the good word? You raking in the cash? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh, that's rough. Brutal. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Bunny? Oh yeah, completely. But the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. The kid's name? Why, uh, it's Wisteria. Um, yeah. Yeah, today. So, think you can help out? Oh? Oh, really? Uh-huh. I see. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So we'll catch up later. Right, thanks a lot. See ya, Nook, my man. Bye. He's just staring at us, creeping me out. Okay, I'm back. Miss me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them? He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? I think we have to answer just a little or it'll randomize our face. Hopefully this is the right one. I don't want to be ugly. Oh really? No wonder you look so helpless. But don't worry, these things have a way of working out. They say money makes the world go round, and what goes around comes around. Wait, I've confused myself. Good job, Rover. <laughs> oh, looks like we're about to pull into Bunny. Did I mention I love this place? Remember, things are never as bad as they seem. Honestly, good luck and all that. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime? Well, goodbye. So yay, we are about to be in our new home. Look how cute the little graphics are. They're so old. <laughs> I love them though. Okay, did we get the right face? Did we get the right face? Please, yay, we did. I used to play with this one when I was little, so I wanted it. And it's just the cutest in my opinion. Bunny, now arriving at Bunny. Welcome to Bunny. Watch your step. Eek eek. <laughs> oh, yay. Excuse me. Hey, hey. Hey, you there. Yes, you. Hey, Tom Nook. Here to steal our money already. Would your name happen to be Wisteria? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you, hmm? Whew, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. Me neither, Tom Nook. Me neither. But I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. I, uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes? Something strikes me as odd, though, my young friend. Moving to a town before settling on a place to live? Why, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Madness. Absolute madness, hmm? Whoa. <laughs> uh, don't laugh, please. Whoa, ho, ho. Uh, ahem. Pardon me. I beg you, that just struck my funny bone. That, it probably wasn't a very good idea to move here without any money, but you never know the con- or the- the reason, you know. We don't know my character's backstory, maybe we should make one, I don't know. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. It should more than suit your needs, hmm? I can show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. I just- 
<laughs> I love Tom Nook. He's so adorable. Here we are. Not too shabby, hmm? I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. Really, I don't mind. Not in the least. After all, the doors don't have any locks. That's nice. <laughs> Just stay in front of the door and press the A button to go inside. Okay, so whenever I was little and I used to play this game, I used to always live in this house. So, we're gonna live in this one. Take a good look inside, and please, bear in mind that it's a little, how you say, cozy? Hmm? Yes, cozy. We will go inside. Very cozy indeed, beautiful. I really like how in Animal Crossing they have these little journals that you can see the holidays. Which reminds me, on every holiday I'm gonna try and upload a video so that we can get all of the holidays covered. I think that would be a good idea. Well, what do you think? How was it, hmm? I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want? Here's good. Very well, it's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Wisteria. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio in there at no extra charge. I could never really sell that thing in the shop. Now let me see, I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house? So listen carefully, please. Oh no, not a tutorial. He talks so much during this, I'm pretty sure. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite bare, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff. But don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. Oh, nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. Oh, you'll probably want to pop into neighbors' houses to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes. That weird thing over by the door there? That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them, hmm? It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to folks. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. For that is the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, It'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I'd hate to see such a thing happen, hmm? And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Do you perhaps wish to hear it again? No. No, we don't, Tom Nook. No, thank you. Yes, well, I'm sure you'll settle into the particulars of life in due time. Don't worry. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, the house comes to 19,800 bells. We have 1,000. Beautiful. He's gonna be upset. <laughs> yes, that would be not nearly enough. You only have 1,000 bells? You're joking with me, yes? Why, you're so short, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> you know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you. They can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm. A thorny situation. Yes, rather thorny. Then here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop. No, to pay off the rest. Yes, that's acceptable. Splendid. We're all set. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come by my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre A1. You can't miss it. At least most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station, yes? I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. I'd ask you to be quick about coming, yes? Okay, so there we go. We have a house and a job. But first I want to look at the town map just to see what villagers we have. Peaches, Curly, Rolf, Petunia, Joey, and Pom Pom. We gotta go meet them soon. But first, let's go ahead and go to the shop. Oh, where was the bridge? I don't even know. Okay. Oh, it wasn't up here. And this is probably going to be a very unedited series. I'm going to try and keep it without too many cuts. So I'll get rid of like coughs and sniffles and stuff like that. Because that's just nasty. You don't want to hear that. Oh my gosh, a friend. I got distracted. Oh, you're a little scary, but also really cute. Hey! Hey, don't sneak up on me like that, neighbor. 
Don't you think it's rather rude to frighten a girl you don't even know, neighbor? <laughs> it's going to be so annoying saying all their catchphrases all the time. It really startled me, but I think I'm okay now. I'm Peaches. In the evening, please say hello to me very quietly, neighbor. Oh, she's cute and creepy. I like her. So here's the shop. It's a tiny little shack. Let's go ahead and go inside. Well, finally you arrive. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Very good. Yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. No, I like my outfit. Oh, look at that umbrella over there. It's gingham print. I want it, but I don't think we're going to have any money to be able to buy it today. Hmm. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? Okay, so let's go ahead and grab it and bring it to our character. There we go. That's better. Yes, you look like you are born to wear that uniform. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bells you owe on your house. Hurrah! First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is too dull, not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience, hmm? People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept, so I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me, yes? Okay, so what I always do is I always like steal the flowers. I'll plant the trees, sure. But I always steal the flowers and plant them on my own house. <laughs> or plant them by, I guess. We'll just plant these randomly around here and then steal the flowers because he doesn't notice so who cares oh our town fruits oranges that's i think that's the first time i've ever had oranges like as a town fruit in any animal crossing game actually okay so let's go up here and just steal the flowers you know it's okay he won't notice <laughs> look how cute they are they're so cute oh they're all my favorite colors right now the red contrasts a little bit but it still looks cute so does the yellow. More yellow. Probably should have spread those out, but I didn't really notice. And yellow pansies. Okay, so there we go. I stole his flowers. I don't think he'll mind. Oh, timer's going off. I'll have to end this pretty soon. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick before we end this episode. We did it. We stole your flowers. So did you make it look a little nicer out there? Gave the ground some charming character, hmm? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how you chose where to plant everything. See, he doesn't even care that we planted it by our house. <laughs> After all, I'm not the one who'll get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. My no, but how will they know? It's near his shop, so I'm assuming they probably still laugh at him. Now, let's just see here. That little chore was worth, oh, let's call it about 80 bells, yes? Won't take a while. <laughs> Quite generous, I know. Oh, and about your wages, I'll just keep them as payment towards your mortgage, hmm? Now, what should I have you do next? Wait, just a moment. Something just struck me. Wisteria, you've just moved to Bunny. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? Only one. I'm going to give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town, hmm? Go on now. And don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. That would show some class. Because we're not the mayor in this game. That's only a new leaf. You can probably find him wandering around the wishing well. I'll see you later, yes? Okay, so I do think I'm going to go ahead and record the next episode, but I am going to have to split it into two parts. Maybe I'll upload it tomorrow along with the next surprise I have for you guys. I'm not really sure. I'm going to at least try to upload this once a week, probably on Mondays, but I might also do it whenever I've just played the game a lot or when there's a holiday. I don't know. I haven't quite figured everything out yet. Just it'll be up when it's up at least once a week, maybe more. That's why I wanted to make it so unedited. So you're probably going to have to deal with me messing up words and stuff a lot. So I apologize. But anyways, I hope you guys like this new little series, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.